and hello again. So we are back to the texture topic. If you've watched my last video, um, you might have seen when we did these texture exercises in the sketchbook. And in that video, I said something about wanting to use that rain texture more. So I did that in a very simple drawing here, uh, the Cat King. And I want to do that again with a more complicated drawing because the Cat King is a very simple character design. So I drew this little anthropomorphic horse. There are some places on the background which I marked with an X and these are the ones that are going to be filled with the rain texture and once we don't have an X we'll just stay plain paper white. For this drawing I use two different pens. I have still the Staedtler pigment liners. I have it once in 05. I'm using the 05 for the background. But first I'm gonna draw the horse and for that I use the 01 like for the horse and also for the texture inside the horse. So yeah, one thing I notice again when I draw for recording for YouTube and it's also something I notice uh, what is the reason why I don't always record my drawings is I try or I don't want to turn my paper around too much because when you speed up the time you get this um, very um, well I think it makes you dizzy if I'm always turning 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 so I try to avoid that but there is a difficulty because usually you have a direction in which you can make lines which you feel most comfortable with. So I try to avoid turning the paper as long as I can, but sometimes I just have to position the paper just to make a line because it's there is a, a real risk that I miscalculate my ability to make the line in that direction and then I have a wonky line so sometimes I, I still have to turn but it's way 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 less than I would if I would just normally draw with no cameras so this is kind of like you know you play a game on normal mode and then you have a more difficult setting and this would be the I don't I would not say it's a hardcore setting but it's a, a difficulty more than normal mode so once I have finished the horse, I made a little coffee break just to wait a few minutes to let the ink dry. And then I already erased the pencil sketch underneath the horse with a netable eraser. It's always good to wait a little for your ink to dry, even if it's not even a fountain pen or a dip pen or something, because the ink will need a little bit of time. because if you erase a little bit too early, you can get smudges and that is something that's very frustrating. So now for the background, I took the 05 pen and all I did was putting down these more or less five millimeter long strokes, each line about one millimeter to the next. And I did that for a whole line then I went under that and the whole line again and so on and so forth. And when I touched the spaces where I wanted to leave this foggy cloud open, I just stopped the line at the point where the pencil drawing was. So, I mean, you, you see what I mean. And while I was doing that, I noticed that my eyes sometimes got a little bit dizzy or had a weird feeling because you were staring onto this massive amount of lines very intently so that that was a weird experience so sometimes I had to shake my head a little bit and like shake out the dizziness just to continue. Now one idea I have um, but that's something you would have to tell me if you would like to see that is to make a real-time video or upload the real-time version of how long it took me to draw just the background. Because I think it's necessary to sometimes show 
how slow a certain process is because these little lines, I, they are not difficult, but you need to take your time to do them. So I don't know exactly how long it took me, but even though it's a tiny drawing, I think it's just for about 20 minutes or so, just for the lines from the background. So yeah, it's it's very slow and it's it kind of like meditating. <laughs> and after that, I made another little break just to wait for the ink to dry. And then I took the Nettable Eraser again and I erased a little bit these lines that marked my background, my foggy clouds. And then it was time to shade the figure. I mean, you could leave the, the drawing like that, but somehow I wanted to, to have a little more in this. So I decided to shade the figure with these broken up lines, these type of faking an old engraving stuff. I was considering cross hatching, but then I thought that cross hatching would fill up the drawing too much. So the decision was for a very simple shading method, this broken lines. Sometimes here I try to take you in a little bit more close so that you can see better what I'm doing. So I hope this, I hope this helps to also see how this, well, how I'm putting down these lines, because frankly, I cannot explain to you how I do them. This is something that you do intuitively. So you just draw, you just try out and then you notice what you like and you repeat it in the next drawing and so on and so forth. And you leave out what you don't like. So it's a try and error approach. In this case, I had really, really fun with the legs. So the pants, the, the pants part and these leg wraps on the little sailor boy. So that was a really, really fun part. And I also decided to put a few bolder shadows for a better readability of the piece. So um, because I couldn't darken my shadows by doing cross hatching because I decided against the cross hatching, but I can add bold black shadows. Also, I filled up the liquid in the bottle. Um, so I wanted it to be rum, but now it looks kind of like red wine with bubbles. I don't know. It's, it was just nice to fill up the liquid. So yeah, by the end of this voiceover, you should see my end result. And I am really happy with it. It has been a while since I have drawn an anthropomorphic horse. So I was really glad to do that again. And also, um, I mean, a drawing is never perfect and drawing never comes out the way you have it in your head, but I'm quite satisfied with this shaded piece. So the shading went really well and yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm simply happy about it. I hope you like this little demonstration, this video and that I will maybe see you next time. Bye.